Hello everybody, welcome to the Sound Test Room. Today I'm going to show you how you can import complete audio files, uh, uh, audio folders filled full of stuff, audio or MIDI, uh, in super simple, dead easy, import the whole thing. So if, if you look in my audio folder here, you'll see soundtrack loops deep space uh iron scores and then this one from daniel here tstr christmas pack um if we double tap on this oh yeah double tap uh, you will see it takes us to the loops and then we can double tap again and there are all the actual um I can just move it up like this all these uh files that are inside that folder and we can uh auto play them <laughs> any of them you like and then we can drop them in as audio files okay so we can go back and the same works exactly the same for MIDI uh, for instance these epic MIDI files these are from electronic sounds from Dean tap on that and then say tap on absolute MIDI and then there's all sorts of stuff inside there there's drum loops MIDI general MIDI loops and uh, these are your MIDI loops and you can uh, drag them in now this is really easy to get into the Cubasis 3.2 all we need to do to drag an entire entire file in let's go to audio is let's go to uh, I'm gonna go to audio share first you see this where it says soundtrack loops ambient guitar these were originally in Dropbox, but they were zip files, and I can't unzip a file in Dropbox. So I imported them into AudioShare and unzipped them inside here, and then they're available as the, um, the folder, you know? And there you go, and they're, they're all in there. Now, from this, we can just leave them there inside AudioShare, and then go to the Files app and go to AudioShare, and then just locate the file that you want to end up transfer into Cubasis. So any file you like, really, audio or video, do, video doesn't really matter. But I'm going to use this soundtrack loops ambient guitar right now. You can't do this from Cubasis, okay? Because you can only import one file at a time from Cubasis, I think. But this is the easiest way to do it. Find them in your files app, audio share section, and then just hit select, and then just choose this one now you can do two if you want to or four it'll do them all and then just click move like this and then go and find well we're already the input all you need to do is go and find cubasis 3 like this and then open it and then it'll give you all the different files and you can go to audio right and you'll see that it you can go to audio or midi if you were importing midi or projects etc we're already selected on audio like this okay so we're just going to hit copy and it, there you go it's, it's it's quite a short pack small pack then we can go back to cubasis let's just jump into midi and then jump into audio and you will see now that we have soundtrack loops ambient guitar is now inside there and you have theme one and theme two and then guitar effects so we can tap on that and then we can uh <laughs> autoplay any of the uh, files that are actually just move that up with my finger tap this we can autoplay any of the loops etc we could go to like say for instance theme 2 and they'd be there maybe hit this maybe hit autoplay <laughs> now there you go that's it that's all you need to do it's really really easy all you need to do to import the entire folder is to do it from the files app choose audio for cubasis so we could do heavy industrial let's do heavy industrial again so we'll just hit select there heavy industrial and then we can go move and then We'll locate Cubasis. These are all the things that are on your iPad, so it'll probably come up like that. But you want to choose on my iPad. Go down to Cubasis here, or Cubasis 3 in our case. So that's Cubasis 2. We want Cubasis 3. And then we want to be choosing the file. Like if it was MIDI, we'd be choosing MIDI. We want to be choosing 
the audio section here and then all we need to do is copy and it'll tell you what you're copying anyway look see so copy don't know how long this is going to take to copy oh i'm copying it to midi right so you don't want to be doing that let's have a look what's happened there so let's go back and let's go back again and we know i've accidentally by the looks of it copied this to midi so what we can do is and there it is in our midi i don't think we can do that can we <clears throat> right we can't right we can but is it actually showing us the well even though it's in midi it's still allowing us to actually um drop it in there so what could the best idea is to do i think i'm going to select this delete it because i want to show you something else as well which is very cool but also if you accidentally drop it into midi files you're going to be fine because it's gonna it's gonna play them anyway which is good uh, but you can delete it and i'm going to do that again i'm going to go to the files app i'm going to go to uh, where are we but audio share heavy industrial i'm going to select it again then I'm going to move it and I'm going to choose audio. I had to move the copy to audio on my iPad and I'm going to copy that. When that's done, we can move back into Cubasis and have a quick look. So, okay, move to Cubasis now. I'm going to go to audio and uh, there it is heavy industrial. But you see, what you can do, let's just open it and have a look there you go it's the same it's exactly the same thing we had before we can we can sample them as well if we want to uh what we can also do is if we want to which is really good if you're getting loads and loads of these builds up right you can move them around uh inside cubasis so for example if i open my audio files now you'll see that i have orchestral construction kits and midis in there and some are, some of these uh, were also in one complete pack. So what I'm going to do is go back, go back again, and I'm going to take this ambient loops and just long hold it and drop it into my audio files. And I'm going to do the same for deep loops, deep space, and drop it into audio files. And you see, you're dropping everything now into your audio files. So you're organizing... Um, you're organizing your folders in a much more logical way instead of having tons and tons and tons of stuff. And the same would go if you just had a single file, you could just drop it into any of these folders. There you go. Now I'm gonna leave all that error in I did where I made the mistake of putting it into a thing because it's good for you to see that the fact that even if you do that, it'll still work as an audio file. You're absolutely fine. It's just the name of a folder. Right, brilliant, cool beans, top job. Hang on just a moment. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed that video, found it a little bit useful, and I will see you guys later. ta -da. Thank you, thank you for that nice welcome.